my, 17f, boyfriends, 19m, mother offered me money if I got an abortion. Background, my boyfriend and I have been dating for about two years. I'm still in high school and my boyfriend is in college. My boyfriend's parents are very wealthy. Not billionaires, but his father makes in the millions range. They are extremely comfortable financially and are very close-knit. Though I recently told my boyfriend I was pregnant, he was the first person I told. I haven't even told my parents yet, I thought we could figure out what to do together. Earlier his mother me invited over, which I thought was really fucking weird. I went over there. My boyfriend's mother sat me down and said you're getting an abortion I couldn't tell if it was a command or a question. So I'm guessing that means my boyfriend must have told her. She started going on about how he's in college and doesn't need a baby ruining his life and how I'll be ruining his life. I told her I haven't decided anything yet and she says I'll pay you if you have an abortion she offered me $14,000 to be exact. She says I don't have to decide anything now. Now, but she advises me to make the smart decision. The whole conversation made me feel uncomfortable and it was inappropriate for her to offer that. Should I accept her offer? Too long didn't read, my boyfriend's mother wants to give me $14,000 to have an abortion. Should I accept it? Yes you should accept her offer. You're 17 and a baby will absolutely derail you and your boyfriend's lives. The family dynamic will be bad, because it'll be his parents supporting the two of you and most likely the two of them calling the shots. Take the money and run. Go to college and experience life, despite what Reddit tells you. You have to live with your decisions not us. Get the money first though. You're 17, an abortion would be the best choice even if you had to pay for it, getting a bunch of money for it is just even more incentive. Honestly I would get pregnant and get an abortion on purpose for $14,000. Being absolutely honest if I had been in that position at 17 I would have taken the money. But you and your boyfriend need to have a conversation about what you both want and what you can handle. I am really upset, my mom said my older brother molesting me was just sexual exploration. Just recently a repressed memory for me came to the surface and it's been difficult to think about. I was 7 to 9 and my brother was either 10 to 12. I'm basing this off the bedroom the vivid memory takes place, he tricked me and told me there was a cool view outside his bedroom window when you lay on the floor. Everybody else was downstairs and it was just us in his room. Him and I lay down on the floor and he slipped his finger into my underwear and put it into my vagina. He said I want to see what it feels like and discomfort and confusion took over. Now, everything after that is a blur. Growing up my brother was very emotionally abusive and lacked empathy. He stole and would compulsively lie. He physically abused our dog and also began watching porn at age 9 according to my parents. I really wish my brother was innocent and didn't know what he was doing, but I have a gut feeling he did considering the way he is. I just opened up about this experience to my mom and she responded very nonchalantly saying he was just experimenting and you shouldn't think anything of it she said it's very normal for siblings to experiment sexually. I just feel very hurt because it seems like more than that. This situation does not seem normal in the slightest and I feel very uncomfortable about it. Too long didn't read, my brother molested me at a young age, but my mom said it's normal sexual exploration. Except for this subreddit I have never heard of siblings experimenting. What is your mom talking about? It happens with much younger kids, kindergarten age, that are close in age, though more often with friends. It isn't actually sexual, it is just curiosity about how bodies look. That's a mutual thing. This here isn't, it is abusive. Sexual, abuse between siblings is something that people like to ignore, but unfortunately it isn't that rare. No 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 no. What your brother did to you is not normal. Exclamation mark. Please get yourself professional help. This is way above this subreddit's pay grade. It sounds like your mom is in denial. It makes sense that you're upset. I'm sorry that this happened to you, and I'm sorry that your mom is too much of a coward baby to face reality. Was your mother explored sexually by her siblings? Cause this is in no way shape or form normal. Sorry this happened but no absolutely not normal. 
dislike my 26f boyfriends 27m friends for ethical reasons my boyfriend is a really kind guy with a great set of values that we are aligned on he's in the entrepreneurial world and has a set of friends who are very business minded entrepreneurial ambitious and wealth driven i appreciate how driven my partner is and i know he enjoys surrounding himself with people who also share similar goals those are good qualities to have at the same time i just really cannot stand a few of his friends. One of his best friends in this group is currently in the real estate world. This friend started off as an analyst and now has bought a couple of properties. These are properties in cities that are going through major housing crises by the way as rents keep skyrocketing. I recently learned that this friend is trying to use owner occupation laws to essentially evict the current tenants so he can live there and then increase the rents for the whole building. He is trying to bypass our state's current eviction moratorium laws, although I don't think he's able to, which has led him to be frustrated. Look, I'm not against real estate business. I think it can be a decent way to increase wealth on the side, if you're doing things ethically. But trying to evict tenants during a pandemic? Honestly, hearing about this friend enrages me. My boyfriend understands this was a shitty thing to do but he is still friends with this person. How do you gently tell your boyfriend that you dislike his friends? Is it fair to assert that someone who acts in this way isn't the best company to keep? He already knows you don't like real estate friend he agreed it was a shitty thing to do. But you cannot control who his friends are, ever. What you can do is, try to limit time spent with him. Accept business practices are often not run based on the high morals because that doesn't equate high profit but you could get to know him on a personal basis and not discuss business with him. What you absolutely cannot do is control your BF on who he hangs out with or badmouth them. Always be respectful of their connection this means you can say friend is a nay slash hole for what he is attempting to do and you don't respect him because of his business practices and then you drop it. I don't think you should try to control your boyfriend's friends. I think you should ask yourself how different from his friends your boyfriend actually is. To answer your two questions directly, yes, there is a way to tell your boyfriend that you dislike his friends. Use those exact words. People seem so scared to just do that, but sometimes saying how you feel is the best way to get what you want, or at least, make it known. What he does after that is on him. It is absolutely fair to assert your opinion that someone who acts this way isn't the best company to keep. Your feelings are always valid, but making him do something because of them is not. Whatever you decide to do with yourself because of those feelings is also fair. I as a renter have never met a good real estate agent. I always joke that they have to have their souls surgically removed to get a license. The issue here isn't that you dislike your boyfriend's friends, emo, it's that this has made you uncertain about you and your BF's shared values. He's still friends with someone who you think is doing something morally untenable. Even if he tells you he finds it distasteful, it's not distasteful enough to stop association with him, so what else does your BF tacitly endorse? You can't tell your BF that he can apostrophe t backslash be friends with someone, you can only control your own reality actions and relationships. The thing that makes for a good long-term relationship is shared values, and it sounds like you're discovering your BF's values actually don't quite align with yours. Where you would draw a hard line, he allows a little bit of fudging if it means he keeps a friend. What other values that you thought were solid would he fudge? So you guys are going to have to have a convo about that and what it means for your long-term future.